Iman Gadji recently gave his opinion on Bitcoin and how it could be just a big scam and a great instrument for puppet masters to rob us all from our money. Look, I mean, I'm really in two minds about Bitcoin. I see it potentially, I mean, look, of course they're going to be rolling out the central bank digital currencies. So that's going to be coming very, very soon. And that was the plan all along. Uh, because once again, the thing is then is you've got smart programmable money, but that is centralized. So the thing is, like, for example, even with the stimulus checks, if the year is 2028 and, you know, maybe there's like a, you know, maybe it's like some other like pandemic, you know, maybe like a monkeypox or like, you know, maybe some other like preposterous name that they think of then. Right. And, you know, this happens around two happens because around two will happen. There'll be another COVID. And hopefully people would have learned, but I don't think they will because people are just idiots. It'll be called monkeypox. Yeah, monkeypox. Right. And the thing is, then they'll send you their, your stimulus check, but and they'll go uh, based on your social credit score. Uh, you get certain amounts based on what you said on social media, based on this and that. Uh, and also it'll be programmable where they'll say, okay, you have to spend the next 30 days. Otherwise it's gone. You can't save it. Mm. Right. And now you're getting into very, very tricky territory where the government can tell you where, how you can even spend the money that they're giving you. And that's that. There's no other way to look at that than slavery. You know, you're working for something that they can create out of thin air. Cause I said, just look into the federal reserve, you know, 1912 uh, creature of Jekyll Island. Also funny enough, that was the same time that they created the IRS. Most people don't know that. You know, but prior to that, it was considered unconstitutional. Tax was considered unconst uh, unconstitutional mm. in uh, the U.S. Um, so, yeah, you know, um, there's going to be another round two. So I think part of me is like, oh, Bitcoin's going to fight it. And then I'm like, yeah, but they would also never let that happen. So I, I'm really in two minds about it. And the other part of me is also like, I don't know. I almost feel as though like it's a, it's a way to create something out of nothing i mean look don't get me wrong like i still i mean i sold a lot of my crypto uh towards the, end of the tail end of last year early this year uh, and then rebought back in i will be buying millions and millions in crypto over the next uh 12 months yeah but in 2028 i don't know like i don't know when it competes against you know central bank digital currencies i don't know if they're they'd ever allow a reality like that and then also the you know more conspiratorial side of my mind is like mm, maybe it was just the U.S. government created. Imagine that you just suck up as much retail stupid money as humanly possible, and then one day just pull the plug and it all goes. Yeah, I'd agree with that. But BlackRock and Vanguard are in too much of it. So yeah, but I don't think. Yeah, but BlackRock is the government. Most people don't like Black. It's, it's not the government. Not the gov It's the it's the same people as the as the central banks. What was it? Thirteen trillion under management mm. or. or how much is it? It's I think it's more than that between them. But they pretty much own everything. Yeah, so once yeah. again, that, that's just the banking cartels. Yeah. I don't know. Have you ever thought about Bitcoin like this? Do you think it's possible that Eamon's conspiracy is true? Let me know in comments. See you in the next one.